Okay, in this video clip, we're just going to look at some of the functions of the Google Form just to get you familiar with um, the next stage. So, obviously, we've labeled our form, um, and I'm just going to go through, as you can see, these symbols on your right. So, the plus, and if you scroll over, sometimes it will pop up, but that allows you to add a question. This imports questions if you've already typed them up. Um, add title and description, you can add an image, you can add a video, and add a section. So this is the first section, it's a section title, and obviously we, in a previous video, we labeled it Awesome Registration Form. We're just going to change that slightly and um, label this now, Registering with Your Child with Awesome. Um, if you wanted to, you could put a description in here. This is something that obviously the end user, the parent and carer would see. And under this section, we're going to decide, well, what do we want in this section? So the first thing is parent carers filling out the registration form. We probably want the email address. This is something that obviously when you've looked at your paper-based form, you can look at what information you're capturing and where it fits within um, this Google form. So um, we're just going to go up here to settings. Um, this is where you can go into the general and it says collect email address, um, response receipt. So if you click the question mark, it'll say respondents receive a copy of their response. That's something that you want. Um, if requested, I would suggest always. So that means that any parent or carer submitting um, a form will always get a response. Um, obviously, in terms of our organization, you can restrict it. We don't want any restrictions because um, there'll be people with all different kinds of email addresses filling out registration forms. So you've got to make sure that these um, boxes are not ticked. Um, respondents can, and this is really important, edit after submitting. Now, if you want the parent and carer to be able to update their own information on their registration form, update their telephone numbers, if they change their mobile or if they change their contact number, this is essential that you tick this box because what it will do is in the email response, once they submit the form, it will allow them to go back into their own form and to edit any and update any information as that changes. Um, talk more about that um, as we get further into to this particular guidance. Um, so once you've done that, um, you say see summary of chart, um, charts and text responses, and that's entirely up to you, but you can you can tick that as well and just click save. So as we can see, that's added to section one already. Um, it's collecting email addresses of anybody who fills in the form. Um, customization, that's what this symbol is. Um, this is the preview. You won't have this, um, which is an add-on, which I'll explain more um, further on in this, this um, guidance, what and how add-ons can really support with your registration form. Um, but for now, you just need to know this is settings, this is the preview, and this is customization, which we'll be doing in a later video. So if you did want to see how your form at this stage looks, um, then you can click preview. And there you see register your child with awesome, um, email address it's collecting, and then whatever question one is. So we're gonna go back um, to edit mode and um, we'll follow on in the next section. So um, do go on to the next video and we'll take it from there.